destination is on the right. on the lift uh, we're getting the wheels pulled off and we're gonna get to work here uh, here are the springs and the truck has four inch blocks on it I did pick up a set of three inch blocks in case we need to go lower but these springs are uh, stated to raise the truck two to three inches over the factory 1500 springs uh, and I bought these at Kyle's recommendation uh, from the manufacturer so We'll see how this turns out. If not, I'll just blame him for everything, but. <laughs> well, is it spin on the inside? No. I don't know yet. I'm gonna get the nut off and then put an impact on the actual bolt and see if I can get it to. Oh, there you go. Well, maybe that stuff I've been spraying on it actually did some good, because it's pretty crusty under here, guys. I don't know if you can see my exhaust tip, but uh, it's looking pretty rough. I could. I could definitely swap that out. Uh, new exhaust would be nice. I also, I need to get this thing back in for an oil undercoating this year, or I need to take the time to maybe do it myself with some used oil. Do it right next to the ocean, let the used oil go in, you know? Throw some batteries in there while we're at it. Well, that one came loose. Okay. Well, I'm sitting here letting Kyle do all the work. Uh, the front driver's side on these trucks is the worst part because the bolts are going in this way. The, the head of the bolt is on the other side and it's blocked by the gas tank. So the proper way to do it is to drop the gas tank to get that bolt out. Uh, but I believe we should be able to finagle a sawzall in there and cut it because kind of the standard thing that you do after uh, when you're replacing these is just cut it out and put the bolt in from the other direction so fingers crossed that works uh, that this right here is going to be probably the most difficult part of today so yeah i'm impressed i don't have the bottle with me but i've been spraying it with the stuff called aerocroil that kelvin gave to me it's in like an orange can maybe i'll throw a picture of it on the screen uh, but i've been impressed with it All right, guys, so uh, we've already started a little bit of work on the truck, so this is a little bit out of order, but I'm here with Chad, uh, owner, if you'd like to say that, owner of All Dogs Off-Road. Uh, technically, we're a co-op, so I'm not the owner, but I am uh, on the board of directors here, and I am also the general manager. 
Okay. Would you, uh, I guess go ahead and explain what All Dogs is and what you guys do here. Yeah, so uh, All Dogs Off-Road is a, uh, an off-road co-op here in Lincoln, Nebraska. We build uh, lift kits for primarily for Nissan and Toyota applications, but we do do some oddball stuff and interesting stuff like full-size Chevys. I finagled my way in here somehow, guys. Yeah, but uh, we've been around since uh, 2018. So rather than a traditional ownership structure, you know, where you have your owner and uh, basically any profit that you generate ends up going uh, into the owner's pocket or back into business, uh, we as a cooperative and with our member backing, we take whatever profit that we generate and we uh, reinvest it back into product development um, or uh, in certain situations, we will donate it to a local or a national charity. Our primary market is Nissan, and Nissan was never very well serviced in the market here, or in the, in the aftermarket. And uh, so generally when we, when we take a profit, it goes into new parts. So we we come out with a few uh, new leaf spring options, uh, ring and pinion ratios, and wheels all for Nissan that had never existed uh, prior to our uh, establishment. Well, it's good that they're they're doing things in the opera community. And one of the biggest things that was attracting me was the co-op structure of this, and that you know you're here to help your members, and the members can help the company grow. You know? Yeah. So it was, it's awesome that they let me come down here and do this. I'll link all the All Dogs Off-Road information down in the video description so you guys can check them out. They have a YouTube channel, uh, website if you have Nissan or Toyota, if you want gear. And you guys also sell some like uh, basic like Overland style of gear stuff too, right? Yeah, so you can get uh, just about anything through our distributors. Um, uh, rooftop tents, uh, wavy and fuel tanks, um, just about all of that knickknack stuff. Uh, our primary focus is suspension, but yeah, we can do this by hand. So if you're in the market for any of that stuff and you'd like to support these guys, you can check that out on the website too. So we're gonna get to work and hopefully knock this out. It's a cold, misty day outside and the roads are probably gonna get slick. So the better, uh, the sooner we can get this done, the better. So we're gonna dive in and get to work. Stay tuned, guys. This stuff works whatever it is. Cutting out the, the U-bolts instead of taking them off, since we've got new ones, just make it go faster. Yeah, you're bending it. Watch yourself. Okay. Uh, just rotate it down like that, yeah, and then go. Okay. Doing? He wants to run for mayor so bad. Flipping around here. All right, guys. So we've got the first spring kind of in, and uh, the front, the front was terrible. So yeah, uh, we ended up. I don't. You didn't cut it completely off. We scored it with the cutoff wheel, bent the outer flap out so we could get it down. We've got it bent back, and we've got the bolt on there. We're gonna weld that, and we're gonna plate that. We're gonna call it a day with that, and uh, no muss, no fuss, so I think it'll be just fine. All right guys, we're working on side two, and if you can see up here, we got the U-bolts off, and uh, the center pin on the U on the spring pack had been broken. So the only thing holding it together was the U bolt.
their bolt was just broken. Yeah, that's crazy. Held together by what U-bolts. Happened? His fucking center pin was broken, so the, leaf, the U-bolts were holding the leaf back together. Hashtag safe. Yeah. I got this one in there, guys. Uh, we're not sure if we're going to leave the four inch block or go down to a three. Hopefully, we can just leave it as it is. I could always adjust the front end at some point, too. <laughs> God, that's a big bitch. All right, you should be good. More? Uh. Okay, we've got it set down, but it's still under tension because we have not moved it. Uh, so, but it looks yeah. good. It looks like we're probably about perfect again. We do need to throw the tire on the back, but I think we're good with the four inch blocks on there. We need to put my gas tank cover back on and torque everything down, but. You definitely got some lift out of this. Oh yeah. But now it looks it looks perfect now. It does. There it, there might be like just a hair rake. Yeah, you probably got about an inch rake. But... Yeah. That's that looks great. Yeah. That, that looks great. Got rid of the squat for sure. We're all tightened, everything's tightened up, huh? Yeah, do you remember what the measurements were the first time? I didn't know if you wanted to come out. I, you saw him oh, I wasn't sure if he was talking. Oh, no, yeah. You're no, you more than welcome to be in the video. Oh. You participated. He's, he's, he's the guy. <laughs> All right, guys. So we took the rig for a drive around here, and it drives 100 times better than it did before. Uh, it's not too firm, which I was worried about. The four inch block is perfect. It is sitting basically absolutely level at this point. Yep. And it feels so much better. Yeah, it rides very well. I was surprised actually with it being a three quarter ton spring. So, yeah, well, I thought it was going to be stiff, but it was worked out <laughs> great. So, we've got Kyle's rig over here, and we've got Chad's rig over here. Chad's inside doing some work on some uh, control arms right now, but everything is all buttoned up. We've got this done. And uh, once again, thanks for helping oh, yeah, me absolutely. out. Absolutely. He did yeah. most of the work <laughs> while I just stood around. But, That's right. Um, yeah. We got some cool stuff coming up and we're definitely going to participate in some of the all dogs activities. You guys do like coffee, like dirt yeah, and donuts. Yeah, we, do, we do dirt and donuts uh, every, like, so first or second weekend of uh, every month, it seems like we do alternate off and on between the Omaha. So there's an Omaha Toyota group that runs one too. We, and last year we started alternating with them. But yeah, so we do that. Uh, we're going to more in Springfield this year. Uh, we got Overland Expo Mountain West. And then I think we might be going to Overland West in Flagstaff. Arizona I will be there. Okay. I'll be so, there. Yeah, I think that we're one. going to that also. Uh, and then sometimes you guys do like camping trips down to. Yeah, we uh, go to Tuttle. We try to go to Tuttle once a month. Uh, sometimes it's an overnight trip. Sometimes it's not. I know when the weather's cool, we try to make it an overnight trip. So Tuttle's our closest off-road yeah. park. It's down in Kansas, like three hours away. Yeah. But we've got something. But yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna grab some lunch, guys. So yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. Uh, thanks to Mike. He's back there behind the camera <laughs> taking some pictures. Uh, and I'll link everybody's Instagrams yeah, and good. stuff down below if you guys want to check out their personal stuff also. Awesome. So, thanks again. Yeah. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next adventure, guys. See you guys. I'll see you in a bit. Perfect. Mm -hmm.